Mine, dig and chop with the Paxel. Build seven machines in one and fly around with the jetpack. If you want to find out how to do all this and more, keep watching. Kia ora guys, Bird here. Welcome to another Mod Spotlight. Mechanism is a tech mod that brings various different kinds of machines into Minecraft. These machines allow for the generation of power, ore processing, automated mining, the storage and movement of items, plus a lot more. Essentially, if you're familiar with LRM's mod Red Power 2, then a lot of Mechanism's features will come as second nature. Mechanism adds three ores to world generation, osmium, copper and tin. Osmium is used in almost every machine in this mod, making it essential to progression. It occurs commonly beneath Y level 60. If you're playing with other mods that add their own versions of copper and tin, Mechanism's versions can easily be disabled from world generation via the config file. Once you've mined some osmium and other resources, you can start generating jewels, Mechanism's energy unit. The most basic type of energy generator that can be made is the heat generator. Put in a standard fuel such as wood or coal to have it turned into energy that will start filling the internal buffer on the right of the interface. Now that you have a source of power, you can craft some basic components that will allow you to expand your power network. The next machine you should make is the metallurgic infuser. You don't have wires yet, so connect the infuser directly to the heat generator. Make steel dust in the infuser by adding coal to the secondary material slot on the far left, and iron in the primary material slot. Take the resulting enriched iron and infuse it again with coal to obtain steel dust. Smelt the steel dust to get steel ingots. With the steel ingots, make some basic universal cables. These allow you to create an energy network to send power from your generators wherever you need it. You also you also now have access to some of the basic machines, such as the enrichment chamber, used to double your ores early on, the energized smelter, used to smelt items with jewels, a precision sawmill, used to more efficiently obtain wood, and a crusher, used to break items down. After this, you can upgrade your ore processing to obtain 3, 4, and even 5 ingots per ore by adding more complex machines. Oh yes, there's a lot more machines in this mod. Or you can begin to move on to some of the cool toys that the mod adds. Aiden, the mod's developer, has spent a long time working on making Mechanism very compatible with other mods you may have installed as well as his. This means that Mechanism's machines will run off of just about any power system, be it EU from Industrial Craft, RF from Thermal Expansion, or MJ from Buildcraft, Mechanism devices will work just fine. Universal cables are also capable of moving other mods energy around as well. Logistical transporters and Mechanism work in much the same way that the pneumatic tubes from Red Power 2 did, in that items in the network will seek out the closest available inventory. For instance, if something is painted blue, it can only go in pipes that are also painted blue, and not through other colours. The machines in Mechanism can be configured to accept items, power etc from any side. Just press the side config button at the top left of the machine's interface. Left or right clicking on the squares will allow you to change what side that items can come out of, or where they go in, and to what coloured slot in the actual machine. Items can also be automatically painted when output for organisational purposes in a logistical system. The transmitters and energy cubes in Mechanism follow a tier-based system. There are four tiers, and each tier is approximately four times as efficient as the last. The first tier is called Basic, the second Advanced, third Elite, and in some cases, a fourth called Ultimate. While higher tiered gear is obviously better, the crafting components become exponentially harder to obtain. Finally, the mod introduces complex blocks known as factories. Imagine if you have several energized smelters in a line being serviced by logistical transporters, universal cables and what have you. That system would take up quite a bit of space. This is where factories come in. They allow you to house several machines in just one block. There are seven machines and mechanism that support being turned into a factory, and like transmitters and energy cubes, factories follow the tier based system. Basic factories can work on three separate reactions, advanced five, and elite a whopping seven. Factories can also be configured to accept materials from whichever side you need. The configurator is Mechanism's version of a wrench from other tech mods, and it's what you use to configure the machines and transmitters in the mod. The flamethrower is a hydrogen-powered incendiary device that sets mobs and trees on fire and has a few other interesting effects. 
Hexels are really cool tools that are a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel all in one. Yep, that's right. These babies can chew through stone, dirt, and wood. And it's all in one tool. How cool is that? There's also an electric version called the Atomic Disassembler that can be charged up with jewels. You can change the breaking speed of the disassembler by shift right clicking with it equipped. Just keep in mind that a faster speed will use the charge up faster. The jetpack is an equipable item that allows you to fly through the air. Like the flamethrower, it uses hydrogen as fuel and has three different modes of operation. Normal allows you to press the spacebar to go up and fall back to the earth like a stone. Hover continuously burns fuel, but allows you to adjust your height by pressing space to go up or shift to go down. Disabled stops the jetpack from working entirely. The final thing I'm going to show here is a particularly special little guy, as he shares my real name, Robert. Robert is a little robotic companion that has a bunch of cool things that he can do. He can follow you around and pick up items on the ground. He also has an inbuilt crafting table, furnace, and an anvil. You can also change his name if you really want to. Not sure why, Robert's a great name. Now because Mechanism is such a large mod, it's impossible to cover everything in a short video. I haven't even talked about the digital miner, dynamic tanks, fusion reactors, or scuba gear here. This video only scratches the surface of what's possible in Mechanism, so if you like what you see, download the mod and try it out for yourself. That about wraps up the spotlight, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave the video a like and shared it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more spotlight videos in future. Thanks for watching, Kia kaha, and I'll see you in the next one.